take a look at this. Our tornado hunt team was right in the thick of it. You can see the video there just spotted. They spotted this funnel cloud, just one of several on their trip through Kansas. Kansas was rocked by severe weather yesterday, and we've got reports of tornadoes, damaging winds, even huge hail. The tornado hunt team is in Wichita, Kansas now. We'll be checking in with them in just a moment. But first, Nick has a look at where we're seeing those storms now. Well, it's only a matter of time that we're going to see a whole lot more of where that came from and perhaps an even more active day. So stay alert. There are more severe storms today from the plains into the Midwest. One area that we're watching and we'll be watching it very closely this afternoon and this evening is Oklahoma City. Our Dr. Greg Forbes has put a 7 on the Torcon scale for Oklahoma City, a 7 in 10 chance of seeing a tornado within a 50-mile radius of the city this afternoon and into this evening. Looking at the radar right now, we are in the clear, which is not always a particularly good thing when you have a lot of moist, humid air. And we've got that, and that's going to be rising in the heated, uh, from the heated ground, up into the sky, building those clouds, increasing the instability for more thunderstorms to form in this area, and sort of recharging the atmosphere for another round of storms today. Kansas City could be in the same boat. We've already seen a few areas of showers and storms back toward your west into central and western Kansas, so we'll be watching perhaps those increase, and the threat will increase too into eastern Kansas and western Missouri today. Iowa, some stormy skies for the southwestern portion of the state back into uh, western Nebraska, but we've also seen the northeastern part of the state with a few thunderstorms erupting and even some damaging wind and hail reports there. Heavy rain is going to be another threat from these storms, so much so we could see maybe even some flooding. Flood watches up from Minneapolis back toward the Dakotas where three to five inches of rain could fall in a short amount of time. That would be enough to cover water over uh, roadways and also bring some streams out of the bay. This is another area where we could see a bullseye of three to five inches of rain from Tulsa, Oklahoma, up to near Joplin, Missouri. So keep a close eye out for those water-covered roadways. And remember, to turn around, don't drown, find a way around them today. You'll also need to duck inside a sturdy building at times from Oklahoma City into Wichita, Kansas City, Omaha, all the way up into Sioux Falls and Minneapolis. That is where we could see this widespread tornado outbreak and severe threats, including hail and damaging winds. Talked about the seven on the scale here in Oklahoma. Let's talk about Kansas City and Des Moines. 